So scientists made this big announcement yesterday that they've found, apparently found a nearby, and by nearby I mean like 31 million light years away, super Earth or exoplanet, and it may be cap capable of supporting life as we know it. So look, we're just going to ring up NASA right now. Um, Tom Barclay is a scientist there at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. What in the world is a super Earth? A super Earth is a planet that's bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. They're really interesting planets because we don't have one of them in our own solar system. And so it's all about discovering them. And so what we announced is the discovery of a super Earth orbiting within what we call the habitable zone. This is like the Goldilocks zone. The temperature is just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. And liquid water is really interesting because that is what tells you um, it might be habitable. All life on Earth needs liquid water and maybe life beyond the Earth also needs liquid water to survive. So there, there may be life on this planet? I mean, how would we, how would we even know? Because it's really far away, right? So as exoplanets go, these are planets around other stars, this is relatively nearby at just 31 light years away. Most of the planets we know about are hundreds of light years away, but this is, this is relatively close. Um, but by being close, that means we can study it in a lot more detail because it's around a bright star. And so you get a lot more light and you get a lot more information. What TESS tells us is about the size of the planet and also about what temperature the planet might be. But that's it. What we're going to do now, now that we know of these planets, we're going to use next generation space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to study the planet in a lot more detail and learn, is there an atmosphere on this planet? And then if there's an atmosphere, what's the atmosphere made of? And is it like Earth's atmosphere or is it something completely different? It's amazing that you have a telescope like TESS and the technology that you're using that's scanning the skies for strange worlds. I mean, would you talk a little bit more about that? I mean, that's just incredible to think about, um, being able to see that far. So TESS is the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. And TESS has been in space for about a year now as NASA's newest planet hunter. So TESS surveys the sky and looks at planets in our nearby uh, local backyard. As you say, they're relatively far away, but it's all about finding these planets that are nearest to us. TESS uses this transit technique, and the transit technique is about looking at a lot of stars, looking for dips in brightness that occur when a planet passes in front of its star. By measuring that dip, you can find there's a planet there, and by measuring a dip that happens repeatedly, you can study how long the year of that planet is, and therefore what temperature it is. And you can also learn about how big the planet is. But we want to know a lot more than that. We want to know what's it mass is it, what's it made of, and what's its atmosphere like, and maybe does it have life. And so we're going to take these and study them in a lot more detail. That's really incredible. So, I mean, traveling to even the closest stars would still take hundreds of thousands of years with our current technology. So how are these distance planets, like, I mean, you know, relevant to us, if we're, you know, listening, to, besides being fascinating, because it's super fascinating. Uh, so for me, uh, the studying planets and, and searching these planets is all about humans' discovery and knowing about what's beyond the next hill, what's beyond the next horizon. And what we are trying to answer at NASA is the question, are we alone? Are there other places beyond the so solar system that look like Earth? Are there places that could harbor life? And maybe are there places that actually have life? So what TESS is doing is it's finding great candidates to study. We're then going to search, some, search our atmospheres and look for telltale signatures that might indicate there is life on those planets. And that really teaches us so much about what our universe is like, what our galaxy is like. Awesome. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, really interested to follow this mission, learn more about super Earths, exoplanets, and such. Appreciate your time very much, Tom Barclay from NASA in Maryland. Guys, back to you.